Lansing, Michigan is a town full of family-friendly fun and educational activities. It doesn't matter your age, income level, or interests, as there's something for everyone to enjoy in this happening city in the Great Lakes State. Whatever sort of traveler you might be, Lansing offers just about everything you could hope for. It's smack dab in the center of all the action and makes for an ideal vacation destination any time of year. Join Vucation as we take a look at some of the top sites and attractions that await you in Lansing, Michigan. Potter Park Zoo this 182-acre zoo can be found at Lansing's Potter Park, and its mission is to inspire visitors to learn about and develop a passion for animal conservation in the natural world. It's the oldest zoo in the state and currently home to more than 160 species of animals, from giraffes to lions and even elephants. If you're looking for a wholesome, family-friendly activity to keep the little ones entertained for a few hours, why not consider a weekend outing to Potter Park Zoo? There are many diverse exhibits on display at the MSU Museum. Some of the top exhibits you'll be blown away by when visiting include its Hall of World Cultures and Hall of Evolution. Make sure you allow enough time on your itinerary for your family to get the whole experience this fantastic museum has to offer. You'll be taken on a journey through space and time while learning all about the marvels of the worlds of science and history. The museum's collection showcases almost a million artifacts and specimens related to the natural sciences, history, anthropology, and arts. The museum also serves as a foundation dedicated to research education and international and local outreach. W. J. Beale Botanical Garden If you need a break from the hustle and bustle, this five-acre botanical garden, located on the campus of MSU, provides all the natural tranquility you'll need. It's claimed to be the oldest continually maintained university botanical garden in the nation, and you'll get a chance to see more than 1,800 different species and varieties of plants divided up into various ecological areas. It's worth spending the day here learning all about the various kinds of plants, flowers, and native flora of Michigan, but there are also many species on display from around the globe. Michigan State Capitol this outstanding example of Renaissance Revival architecture is the building that houses the legislative brand of Michigan state government. It can be found at the intersection of Michigan and Capitol Avenues and has been designated a National Historic Landmark. In addition to the chambers and offices of the Michigan legislature, the ceremonial offices of the governor and lieutenant governor can also be found here. Interestingly, this is actually the third building to historically house the Michigan government. The first was in Detroit, which was at one point the first capital of the state. It was later relocated to Lansing in 1847 when it was determined that the western side of the state needed to better develop its defenses from British troops stationed in Windsor, Ontario, Canada. Impression 5 Science Center Located downtown in Lansing's historic Wagon Works factory on the banks of the Grand River, the Impression 5 Science Center is a science museum worth visiting whether you're young or old. The name of the center refers to the five senses of the human body. Visitors can play, create, and challenge their understanding of the sciences here with hands-on interactive exhibits. Many of the exhibits are geared towards kids, but adults will find fascinating things to immerse themselves in as well. The center is dynamic, interactive, and engaging. You and your family will absolutely love your visit. R. E. Olds Transportation Museum one of the top automotive museums in the U.S., the R. E. Olds Transportation Museum proudly displays an extensive collection of vintage and antique Oldsmobiles dating back to 1897. If you know someone who's a fan of old cars and all the history that goes with them, this sprawling museum space is an absolute must-visit destination for them. With automobiles and memorabilia spanning more than a century of history, guests will be delighted when checking out their diverse collection, which includes a nearly complete compilation of Michigan license plates, historic traffic signs, and even functioning 1950s traffic signals. Visiting this museum is like taking a trip back in time. Michigan Princess Riverboat Speaking of taking a trip back in time, this 19th century steamboat replica harkens back to the early days of river cruising. Passengers are granted a much-needed escape back to simpler times for a few hours as they glide down the Grand River. 
Along that voyage, they're treated to breathtaking views of the surrounding region while enjoying live entertainment, sipping on delicious cocktails, and enjoying a fine dining experience like none other. It's the perfect evening out for a couple looking for a romantic getaway and is great even if you're traveling with kids. It makes for an excellent weekend activity to pass the time while enjoying the great outdoors. Hawks Island Park at this 100-acre green space, visitors can enjoy nature any time of year. The park offers a swimming beach ideal for the hot summer months, as well as a picnic area, playground, and fishing docks. Come winter time, the park is perfect for sledding or snowboarding. There are plenty of things here to entertain your entire family. The Grid Arcade and Bar the grid takes Lansing's bar scene to the next level. Over 40 craft beers are on tap, and if you're going to tap into some nostalgia, the main draw here at the grid is their vast collection of old-school arcade games. While they offer an extensive selection of hard-to-find yet highly rated beers from both Michigan and across the U.S., they also apply this same level of focus to their arcade and pinball games. If you're in search of an unforgettable social experience you can't find anywhere else, stop by the grid to make some memories and even a few new friends. Michigan History Museum This museum aims to preserve, discover, and share the stories of Michigan. A visit here will educate you about some of the state's earliest residents while detailing their many contributions up to the present day. Located downtown, there are more than 25 galleries of permanent exhibits, special exhibits, and even a three-story tall topographical map of the state for visitors to see. And yes, they also have a gift shop. Lansing River Trail At about 13 miles long, this multi-use trail runs along the Grand River and the Red Cedar River between Dietrich Park and Michigan State University. The first leg of the trail opened to the public in 1975, and it has expanded extensively since then. In 1981, it was designated a National Recreation Trail. The western section of the trail splits off at River Point Park, just south of downtown, and extends to Moores Park. The southern leg of the trail runs along Sycamore Creek beginning in Potter Park and ending at McGuire Park. There's another stretch that goes from McGuire Park to Hawk Island County Park, completed in 2008. Several yearly events are held along the trail, including the Common Ground Music Festival, Michigan Run, and the annual Mayor's Walk. Several other city-sponsored activities are held here as well. Lake Lansing if you're planning to spend a day on the water, the best spot in Lansing to go for a float on a boat is this 461-acre lake in Haslip, just a few miles northeast of downtown. It was originally known as Pine Lake and was a hugely popular recreational site in the early 20th century. The name was changed in 1930 and it began to decline in popularity and was widely neglected until it was dredged in 1978. Since then, the lake's health has been restored and it has once again become a popular recreational spot. Three public parks can be found on Lake Lansing's shores. Lake Lansing Park South features a band shell, fishing dock, boat rentals, swimming beach, bathhouse, volleyball courts, and other outdoor activities. Lake Lansing Park North is a 530-acre park offering hiking trails, picnic areas, and playgrounds. Lake Lansing Boat Launch, which can be found on the northern end of the lake, provides picnic areas, a power boat washer, basketball court, and two boat launch ramps. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss anything you love in Lansing? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.